Hey everyone, and welcome to group break number 98. Today we have a 12 box hobby case of 2020 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 just came out today. I think it's the first time we're actually doing a full release day break, and very excited for it. So, a uh, very hot product, and uh, first time in really hockey card history that the Minnesota Wild are the most valued team in a break because of Kaprizov. So, uh, it's, it's definitely fun times, and so, uh, yeah, let's get right into the team random here. Uh, there shouldn't really be anything to go over uh, break notes wise, but uh, oh, there is actually a, one thing to mention is that the program of excellence is uh, the star players, they'll either go to current team um, or as like we normally do them, current team or if they're somehow retired, um, they'll go to, you know, um, what you call it, they're... Uh, uh, they're most games played if they're retired. So uh, anyways, uh, let's get started on the team randoms here. So good luck, everybody. There we go. And there's a list of names again. Thank you everyone for getting a spot. Friday is group break 100. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, really looking forward to that break. So uh, here we go. But tonight it's all about series two. So three times, once, twice, on twice and third time all right there we go three times on that and teams three times on this uh again uh best team is like overall team in this break like guaranteed bang for your buck is going to be uh chicago but minnesota has a top young gun so uh they're technically the most valuable team and third time, Carolina on top, San Jose on the bottom. Honestly, San Jose is a good team. Like they've got lots of cards as well. So uh, not the highest value, but you'll get quantity there. So uh, Kenny Chan with the Carolina Hurricanes. Jonas, you've got the Winnipeg Jets. Shane with the Florida Panthers. Callum with the Dallas Stars. Mad Dog with the Capitals. Shane, you got the Senators. Uh, Edward with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Emil with the New York Rangers. Daniel with the Calgary Flames. Jordan, you've got the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Andy, you've got the Arizona Coyotes. Shelby with the Anaheim Ducks. Aaron with the Detroit Red Wings. Edward with the Vegas Golden Knights. Kenny, the Buffalo Sabres. Mad Dog with the Colorado Avalanche. Ken with the Boston Bruins. Mark, you've got the Islanders. Honestly, not bad. Uh, Mad Dog with the Lightning. Uh, Matt with the LA Kings. Andy with the Vancouver Canucks. Ron Scott with the Philadelphia Flyers. Rocky. There you go. You got the Wild. Chris with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Mark with the Predators. Robert with the Devils. Gabriel, you've got the Chicago Blackhawks. Again, I kind of mentioned this right before the break started, but they have a lot of cards in this, so you'll get about a, probably a hobbies box worth of stuff. Uh, Robert with the St. Louis Blues. Ryan Leong with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Philip with the Edmonton Oilers. And Bill with the San Jose Sharks. So there are your teams. Rocky, yeah... You got a good team. Honestly, like going through the last couple breaks has been like a little bit rough. <laughs> so it's it's nice to see you finally land on a good team. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, let's let's hope for honestly like let's hope for as good of a case of series two as we've been getting out of like series one and stuff. Um, that's that's all I can hope for. But yeah, uh, Chicago has been. Um, like just based analytically and based off of um, like viewing, you will probably get about a hobby box worth of cards on average. So many young guns, uh, so many inserts and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah. All right. Uh, we will uh, give it a few minutes, just a couple minutes for trades. Um, but yeah, it, overall, it's going to be a pretty fun break. Um, honestly, like, it's just, it's Series 2, Series 1. It's all about the young guns. I know I've had a couple people that are starting to get into hockey cards that are asking me about, like, um, like what should I look for? What cards should I collect? Like, if you're looking to, you know, go the investment route and do long-term value, it's it's young guns. And they, they're the tried-and-true rookie card. 
everyone loves them. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, all right. I'm going to slide my keyboard over there. Again, I will try to... Uh, I'll top load and... Like, all the young guns do get top load and sleeved individually um, as we go along here, but um, just if one or two don't, because I somehow mistake them for something or else, I don't think I will. Um, I'll be sure to change that, but yeah. Uh, I think we're just going to get started here. It's uh, lots of people. I don't know. There's a couple people. I'll get the boxes out at least. And if there is any trading, um, I will need just your email addresses and your order number. Uh, that way we can make sure it's you. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's the case. It's fresh. All right. Honestly, I should just open it from the bottom. That would have been the easier way to do this. And there goes one box. So. But yeah, we will, uh, once all the boxes are out, if there's literally no traction on trades, we will uh, start the break here. All right, there's the first stack. See, I really need to just open these from the bottom next time because it's just so much easier. Second stack. Ugh. And third stack. All right, that is empty. Whoop. All right, we have a couple people asking about trades, so I'll give it, we got, on my end, it's 516, so we'll give it to, we'll give one more minute. But um, for the most part, like, the, the top teams are Ottawa and Chicago and Minnesota. All right, there's all the boxes. So, um, but yeah, uh, Sorokin's good for the Islanders. Uh, I think he's had a couple in the $50 range sell and like just promising goaltender. So um, outside of that, um, yeah, it's really, really just the major ones, so. All right, we got 15 seconds left here. Um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Trade deadline is coming up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, trade deadline's, uh, trade deadline's over. It's time to get started. Actually, let's uh, rotate these sideways, so. But yeah, uh, good luck everyone again. I, I just hope we hit some absolute monsters. Um, I just, I really wanna see, you know, an absolute just crazy card, you know, maybe like even just a young, like a good young guns parallel of Caprizov, Stutzla, Hoaglander. I did check Romano of what he was selling at. It's one player I didn't really check, but uh, yeah, here we go. The packs have the same kind of foily feel as uh, the other one. They're definitely like a 90s vibe to it, just with both the, uh, if you ever like look at the packs or the box, the picture of Tavares is like a little bit on the uh, grainy pixelated side. So yeah, overall uh, kind of fits their theme this year very well. So here we go. Let's get into box one good luck everyone again let's see some absolute monsters there's street clothes variations again there's day with the cups in here so we'll we'll just start off and see how it goes uh marquee rookie of ingram for the predators gotta roll up the sleeves a little bit i even broke out my Third favorite flannel for the day. Special occasion, release day break, right? Gotta dress up. Next up, rookie portraits of Prisky for the Panthers. 
And a French variant of Filpula for the Red Wings. All right, so you can get two in one pack. Uh, let me just double check to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Cool, should be good. That is honestly very valuable information. I tried to stay away from watching a lot of it because I just wanted, you know, first impressions to kind of be the break and yeah. And first young gun up, Chase Prisky for the Panthers. Definitely going to be some unique ph photography too because you're going to see a lot of uh, practice photos and stuff like that. I need to just get the top loader set up over here. So Panthers on the board first, twice, but... I, I like that we're gonna see some, you know, unique photography and stuff like that, so. Yeah, it makes sense that they're coming in the same pack. Just doing the breakdown, it seemed like something had to give with all the inserts and stuff, so. Uh, canvas of Colin White for the Senators. I, I honestly like that they have, you know, I miss the good old series two days where you get like two to three hits per pack. Um, those were the good old days. Uh, that's a good one for the New Jersey Devils, Ty Smith, Young Guns. Uh, main difference between Series 1 and Series 2 is that Series 2, you have all the update rookies from people that weren't in OPG and the rookie portrait set. So there is more, if it's a strong like post-draft rookie crop, um, you know, it's uh, like, or post kind of like the next year rookie crop, like they didn't make it into OPG. You generally get more like, uh more overall value i would say we got a clear cut coming up here uh nick paul for the ottawa senators on the clear cut so um but yeah series two is really like series two retail is one of my favorite products just because like there's so much value in it oh i like that photo of belmar that's cool uh, another good one, uh, Lankinen for Chicago. So, good start here. He was, he's cooled off a little bit, but his market is still pretty strong. Uh, obviously, really hot start for Chicago. So, yeah, Series 2 is one of my favorite, just because you get so much stuff. Uh, there might be some. I It just depends on, you know, how much. So I will try to have one or two and maybe a series two V series two. Oh, I love that photo of Hudden. Uh, Anderson for the Kings on the rookie portraits. That's a bubble photo. So I think we might be able to do a couple, but not a ton. I, I like them though, cause they're just a fun mix. So uh, award winners of Dumba for Minnesota. Right, because they couldn't uh, do the actual award winners in OPG. The awards weren't announced in time for that release. But yeah, I, I like them because it's a good mix of kind of everything, like both rookie crops, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, Gibson for the Ducks. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit weird after watching so much hockey without fans in stands, seeing photos of fans in stands. Uh, rookie of Nick Robertson for the Leafs. Uh, OPG Platinum. Speaking of OPG rookies, Platinum got a scheduled release date um, on August 11th right now. So definitely a long way to go to it and it can get changed, but early, early date. Uh, Gills Shen for the Devils on the retro rookie. Hey, Christian. But yeah, uh, Series 2 is a lot more rookie content focused. And if the rookie crop is good in Series 2, then, uh, you know, it's it's going to be a good product. So Ant Whistle for Chicago on the Young Guns. I mean, I mentioned this, I think, at the top of the break. But honestly, one of the biggest sleeper Young Guns so far is Brandon Hagel for Chicago. Really like his game. He's been doing really well for them. Uh, early prices for him were a pretty... Uh, Pretty reasonable, all things being considered. Next up, 
got Brandon Hagel, rookie portraits for the Chicago Blackhawks. Oh, we probably will have a random today too. Between, ooh, it'll be a random between Mark and Rocky if we hit any uh, young gun checklist. So that'll be fun. Uh, Reed Duke on the marquee rookie for Vegas. Uh, Fabry for Detroit on the canvas. So, yeah, pretty pretty solid box one, I'd say. Uh, a couple of, like, decent young guns with Smith and uh, Lankinen. Um, marquee rookies have been okay. Uh, Entwistle for Chicago. I'm just waiting for some, uh, for some, uh, whatchamacallit good old-fashioned trades in the NHL. Well, that's a good retro rookie for the New York Rangers. Nice little Lafreniere. Not a blank back, but just nice little retro rookie. We'll sleeve that one up, I guess. Honestly, it doesn't bother me that he doesn't... It Like, you notice he doesn't have a jersey number in it, but, like, it doesn't bother me that much. You can go on a stand for now. First laugh of the break, sure, why not? Uh, yeah. Series one also normally has like more unique subsets, whereas series two is largely focused on uh whatchamacallit, like rookies and updates. Uh Bobby Ryan blue award winners for Ottawa. Rookie portraits of Lucas Carlson for Chicago. Again, Chicago has like, I don't know how many cards. They've got two young guns with uh, Entwistle and Lankinen and then a few portraits. Um, yeah. uh, Chatfield for the Canucks on the young guns, based on the rest. All right. But yeah, they've got a, uh, so far it's Chicago with two young guns. Vancouver's got one, New Jersey's got one, Florida's got one, Rangers have the laugh. Another canvas coming up here. Ooh, and a Dazzler, so double hit pack here. Uh, Barzell canvas for the Islanders and Dazzlers of Braden Shen for the Blues. So another, so it looks like two, two hit packs, I guess. Take that. Another young guns coming up here. Uh, David Kasha for the Philadelphia Flyers. Let's see, next one, and then just base on the rest. Get that one sleeves up. Corners on them all look okay. Like, some of them aren't exactly sharp, but um, nothing major. Uh, the Bruins really are kind of weak, I'd say, in this. Uh, they don't have a ton, but... Yeah, they're, they're not the strongest team. Ooh, retro rookie black for the Vancouver Canucks. Ole Levy, numbered 9 of 100. So there we go. Nice little uh, Yul Levy to 100. Obviously, you know, you'd rather that be the laugh, but hey. Uh, the rookie blocks will generally fall about one per case. So how many Chicago cards, by the way? Uh, one, two, three... Uh, three plus two young guns, so five Chicago cards in uh, box one here. That's pretty uh, pretty solid. Canucks had a couple. Rangers, I think, had the one. So, all right. I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna tuck the base in after every box too, because otherwise it will just get overflowing. And yeah. So there we go. Uh, we'll go. We'll go same side here. So you levied a hundred, not a uh, bad, not the worst OPG update rookie or retro rookie to hit. So obviously never really lived up to draft stock, but you can't really blame the player for that. So 
as we uh, whack the laugh. All right, it's, uh, we'll put those there, there we go. Box numero two. Yeah, we're gonna go a little bit slower and steadier today. Um, just kind of first look at the product, kind of overall view. Um, I mean, we've seen all of the sets before technically, so shouldn't be anything major that's new in here. Uh, hang on, I just gotta get my light cable tucked out of the way. Keeps on brushing my arm. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, box numero de. Uh, send for the devils on the rookie. And base on the rest. And base variations are pretty easy to pick out. So uh, they're in their street clothes or like pre-game type of stuff. So uh, Pierre Oliver Joseph for the uh, Penguins on the marker rookie portraits. And Jordan Saul, French variant for the Carolina Hurricanes in the nice little Whalers Uni. All right, Young Gun coming up here. And Calvin Turkoff for the Columbus Blue Jackets on the Young Guns. Turkoff for the Blue Jackets. Yeah, like this. Uh, like again, same thing as series one, really like the base design. The young guns are definitely better in person than what their mocks look like. So Ooh, we got a young gun canvas coming up. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Mackenzie Imp whistle for the Chicago Blackhawks. Cause why wouldn't it be a Chicago Blackhawk? I think they have five in the canvas, uh, five young gun canvases too. So <laughs> Again, you're gonna see a lot of Chicago in every single break um, of this. They just have so much quantity. Honestly, San Jose's been quiet. They have a lot of young guns, so. But, I mean, we're one box in, all it takes is one box of two, three San Jose young guns, and you're laughing, right? Uh, Dylan Cousins on the young guns for the Sabres. That's another good one. Selling pretty well out of the gate. There we go. And another fun fact about the product this year. All right, Ty Smith, you've had your, you've had your highlight time. It's Cousins. I think Cousins is probably slightly higher valued. So another fun fact about series two though is that there are no Vancouver Canucks canvas cards. At least there weren't on the checklist. Ooh, first jersey card coming up here. Well, that's a good rookie materials for the Colorado Avalanche. Bowen Byram. Nice little Byram jersey for the Avs. Um, yeah, sure. We'll, uh, we'll sleeve that one up as well. It probably value wise won't be major, but hey, we'll put them in the, uh, actually I should make a recap pile. That's a really smart idea for all the good young guns and the cool hits. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so Byram Rookie Materials. I believe the group A's are just Kaprizov and uh, Kaprizov Cousins and Sorokin, I want to say. Cole Smith for the Devils on the, or Devils, sorry, for the Predators on the Young Guns. There we go. Yeah, uh, again, hopefully everyone's having fun. If there's anything you want to talk about hockey card-wise, hobby-wise, let me know. Uh, Connor McMichael on the rookie portraits for the Capitals. Honestly, rookie portraits work really well for a lot of these photos because they're going to be their draft photos, and, um, you know, they, look, they just look funny and cool. I like them. I like the design for the portraits the past couple of years. Uh, award winners of the Tampa Bay Lightning for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sure I didn't miss a street variation there. Don't think I did. Nope. Alright. So, uh, it's all a box two though. Young Gun Canvas, Cousins Young Gun, Byram Rookie Materials. 
uh, McAvoy canvas for the Bruins. So there's, I mean, I think on average Bruins will probably get two to three cards per case. But again, all it takes is one case to run a little bit hot for a team and, you know, things work well. Uh, Belzile uh, for the Habs on the Marquee Rookie. And the last pack of half two of box one. And is this a fluorescent? I haven't seen one yet. Or, no, it's a uh, it's an award winners of Yossi for the Predators. The retro award winners. All right. A couple Predators cards. Another retro coming up here. Of Connor McMichael for the Capitals on the rookie retro. Young Guns coming up here. Uh, Brandon Hagel for Chicago on the Young Guns. Honestly, again, probably one of the ones that I expect out of the whole set to kind of crop up in value over the next little bit. He's been doing really well. If Chicago makes the playoffs, he'll probably be a difference maker. Um, just looks really good out there. So, really like his game. Again, that Chicago's like what third, fourth card of the box. Maybe just second, but I don't know. They've definitely got a few. Uh, Byram rookie portraits for the Avalanche. Second Byram of the box. He's fighting the injury bug pretty badly right now. Uh, Burdine for Winnipeg on the marquee rookie. Next up, uh, Atkinson for the Blue Jackets on the canvas. Uh, laugh, marquee rookie for the Rangers. It's another laugh. Uh, we'll put that one in the. Uh, we'll we'll sleeve them up, I guess. Didn't really check to see what the marquee rookies of him were going for, but generally speaking, they'll hold a little bit of value. So the card's definitely framed better in the uh, OPG rookies. Um, blue of uh, Venchek on the marquee rookie for the Capitals. It seems like we have the same run of base here as well in this box. But yeah, overall. Solid stuff so far. Really like the rookie materials design as well. Uh, Van check for the Capitals on the rookie portraits. What do you think is going to be the best pull out of this box? I know someone said it capris off uh, exclusives, and I think that'd be really nice. Gage Quinney for the Golden Knights on the Young Guns. Gage Quinney for the Golden Knights. Base on the rest and a few packs to go. Gage Quinny High Gloss, eh? That is a bold call, so I'm here for it. Uh, Canvas of Ellis for the Predators. And Thomas Harley, Rookie Dazzlers for the Stars. I believe the Rookie Dazzlers were on the actual set checklist. Yeah. Those are cool. I like, I like the Dazzler set. Uh, this looks like a shark. Uh, Latunov for the sharks on the young guns. And some of the young guns have the little bit of like the kind of print white at the top. You can kind of see it when I put my finger behind it there, but nothing like, again, nothing horrible. Um, yeah. And last pack of box two. So box two, I think. Box one probably overall a little bit strong. Oh, but we have something. We have a die cut coming up here. Bit of an Easter egg card. Ooh, nice. Uh, MVP top prospects of Michael DiPietro. These cards are beautiful, by the way. Uh, to 250 for the Canucks. Just love the look of the card. Like, obviously, you'd rather have the like higher value players, but DiPietro himself is like promising goaltender. Hopefully they can get him some playing time soon. But yeah, like, again, just 
these cards absolutely pop. And it's why I love OP or MVP as like a as a set in general. These are really fun, cool cards. So number to 250 on that. Uh pretty good end to box one there. Honestly, laugh, you can go in the recap pile. D Pietro. You're cool and unique enough. You're about a case hit, so. Uh, but yeah, they normally find, I think, one of those per case, so. All right, let me just get base stacked away here. Yeah, it felt like that base run was very, very similar to box one, uh, which is common in series one series two. That is the sound of uh, cardboard getting stuck on the edge of the storage box. Which again, all that is expected for series one, series two. So, um, you know, it's a massively printed product and kind of, you know, rightfully so. I think, you know, estimated print runs of a young gun, just assuming everything is like, I think it was like, ooh, we got the box click there. That's a callback. Remember that one break where every time we did that with a box, it was nuts. You know what that means, right? What box is this? 14 and 40. Well, let's see. Here we go. Let's let, again. Let's just. I want to see a nice like Young Guns exclusives or high gloss in this case, or like just exclusives even. Uh, Lawrence for the Hurricanes on the marquee rookie. Uh, portraits of Lindstrom for the Red Wings and French variant of Getzlaff for the Ducks. Oh, I uh, forgot to switch this back. There we go. I didn't miss anything there. Looks like we got a young gun coming up here. Uh, Turkoff. So second Turkoff, double dipping for Columbus. See if the uh, see if the crops are pretty consistent. Again, normally, if you're new to Series 1 or Series 2, um, the rookie crops are fairly consistent. Like, who you get in a box is... Like, when you see one or two of the same players, you'll probably get the same ones in that box. But uh, some years it changes up, some years it doesn't. It's kind of a one of those... You know, you kind of open it up and get the feel for it. Connecting for the flyers on the canvas. But yeah, so like with Turkoff, we'll probably expect to see another... Uh, like another Cousins, maybe. Um, who else was in there? Like Cole Smith. So, we will see. Well, it's Ty Smith this time for the Devils. So, second Ty Smith. Uh, I mean, that's good for the Devils. He's doing really, really good in New Jersey. There we go. Ooh, we got a red fluorescence coming up. These are nice, by the way. They're really nice looking cards. Saw a couple of them on eBay. Jake Evans for the uh, Habs on the fluorescent. Uh, again, any card that has any sort of coloring on the edges will probably have some chipping. And this card's honestly not bad. You got a little bit on the sides, a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom, but overall pretty good. These always used to be numbered. That's one change this year is that they have red versions that are not numbered. They fall a little bit more commonly, but yeah, cool looking card. Uh, only thing I'd say is a little bit weird is that the fluorescence text box itself isn't numbered, but still cool. Um, like really cool looking card. Really, it kind of gets in your face, which is nice. Uh, rookie Portraits of Harkins for the Jets. Award winners of Dry Sidle for the Oilers. Again, I'm expecting we'll probably see the same Easter eggs as we've seen in previous series too. Um, again, given that it's release day, we don't really know what is all in here, but uh, Riddich for the Flames on the canvas. I'm expecting we'll probably see, you know, some Blank back retro OPG parallels in hobby. Um, I know a couple of people have mentioned that they've seen some acetate, some retro acetate young guns, which are cool. Um, the MVP top prospects are Easter eggs. So, yeah. Uh, rookie of Broberg for the Oilers. Uh, 
Quiet Box 1. Qu or Quiet Box 3, sorry. Uh, retro Award Winners of Hellebuck for the Jets. Did Justin Hole ever get a rookie card? I'm trying to remember. Young Gun Clear Cut Exclusives, eh? Uh, the goalie card in the back is a DiPietro Top Prospects uh, to 250. That is one of the Easter egg inserts. Uh, Philip De Rosiers, I'm butchering that name probably. Young Guns for the. Uh, it's probably De Rossier for the Panthers. So that's a new one. So different crop in here. But yeah, it's a DiPietro MVP Top Prospects. I just like the look of it. Like, it's a cool looking card. It's really flashy. Um, yeah, I like it. And retro again. So it looks like the retro is in the bottom. Uh, Mason Marchment for the Florida Panthers on the Marquee Rookie Retro. That is a Panthers card. It's got Panthers logo on it, despite him being in a Leafs jersey in the photo. Can we go by the logo on the card? If it is Team Canada, it's either current team or most games played for if they're retired. Uh, Vedimo for the Habs on the Young Guns. Uh, yeah, essentially MVP update on the just the um, they only do the like the die cuts for them. So, but like like I say, whenever we open up MVP, like there's such nice cards that you know you almost like are happy to pull them in a pack. Like again, if, like to think that's a card that you get two of in a 60, 70 hobby, dollar hobby box is pretty pretty funny. Uh, Latuno for the Sharks. There we go, there's some Sharks. If at any point you see me miss something, by the way, let me know, so. Ah, uh, Marquee Rookie of Joseph for the Penguins. Just a regular marquee rookie. It's the third Manji Atane base we've got. Alright, what we got next? Canvas of Mark Stone for Vegas. We have a good mix of like the special hits so far um, between jersey cards, retros, stuff like that. I like it. Larmy for uh, Pittsburgh on the rookie. Pittsburgh's honestly pretty solid overall with quantity too, actually. But they're not as bad as what I was expecting. Got a blue OPG coming up here. Uh, Prisky for the Panthers on the OPG blue. Next pack, got another portraits coming up of Burdeen for the Jets. So definitely seeing like some of the same names in the portraits and um, what you call it, OPG rookies, but that's kind of expected. So uh, Hagel for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. So second Hagel. So definitely some double dip in here. Uh, that is again fairly common. Nothing. Too unheard of. Uh Brian, no, they're not they're not that bad. Um like some will like some will sure have soft like if they're like these ones are pretty sharp actually. Um they're not like they're not as bad as series one, but series one was also very hit or miss. Like there are some cases that were awful. Um for the most part, a decent amount of the cases were okay. Um at least hobby, but the ones that were bad were really bad. Young Gun Canvas is coming up, I think. We got a Dazzlers of Josh Norris for the Senators and Sharon Govich for the Devils on the Young Gun Canvas. I love I love the rookie Dazzlers. Not gonna lie, that's a really nice little insert there. Uh, Sharon Govich Devils are uh, kind of cleaning up a little bit here. At least relative. Oh, I forgot to put the. Uh, Ty Smith in the recap pile. I think his other one, I think I stuck in here as well. It might be stuck in here, but 
Nope, maybe I put it in the recap pile. But yeah, it looks like there's about two packs in every box that have two cards. Which again, I am all for that. The more the merrier. Uh, Pinho for the Capitals on the Young Guns. A lot of Young Guns all of a sudden here. Three in a, three in a row. And... Last pack of box three, honestly, a solid box. Some different stuff, some cool stuff. Overall, young guy, excuse me, we're decent. And a pink Dazzlers of Gensel for the Penguins. So, lots of cool stuff. Nothing like major, but some cool stuff. So, all right. Base tucked out of the way here. And first night of a hobby release normally will take just a little bit longer to break, um, especially like Series 1, Series 2, just to get the feel of it, uh, the flow, the rhythm, uh, understand everything that's going on. So here we go. Last box of that first stack there on the side. Let's, uh, let's see what it's got in store. I feel like this box is going to have... By the way, that box flip was not good. It did not do its job. Uh, I feel like we're going to get one of the big two here. Either a Stutzla or a Caprizov. I feel like we're due for one of the big two. If you're stupid, superstitious, it's box 95 on the NHL logo and 02 on the upper deck sticker. Uh, honestly, best pull so far. Coolest one, in my opinion, is a Di Pietro. Um to 250. The best one, honestly, either the Laugh Retro Rookie or the Cousins Young Guns. Um, pull a Lankinen in there as well. Um, Byram Rookie Materials. But yeah, nothing like major so far. Just some cool stuff. Chatfield for the Canucks, doubling up on him, I believe now. On the Young Guns. And I need Fresh stack of top loaders here. Let's just keep these in a uh, in plain view. But yeah, hopefully again, like hopefully you normally get about one and a half of each young gun in a case. So hopefully you know we start hitting unique ones and not doubling up on a bunch of them. But it looks like they're a little bit more randomly allocated. So far, Alexander True for the Sharks on the portraits. True for the Sharks. I wonder if the bottom pack, by the way, is going to be the retro rookie again. Because it looks like that bottom pack is always a retro rookie. Uh, award winners of Bobby Ryan for the Senators. That's the second time we've got that. Next up, uh, Monaghan for the Flames on the canvas. Just going to make sure I didn't miss a French variation. We normally have one by now. Uh, Golden Knights, Flames, Red Wings, Maple Leaf Stars, Golden Knights, Jets. Nope, maybe it's the next pack that it's in. Feels like it's fairly early. But yeah, uh, nothing major so far. Um, Couple of young gun canvases. Chicago's doing Chicago things in the break. Uh, Marquee rookie of Krebs for the Vegas Golden Knights. Solid rookie. Honestly, once he gets his shot at the NHL, I think he'll do really well. Got a retro coming up here. This is normally the trophy winners, I want to say. Nope. Marquee rookie retro of Kurashev for the Chicago Blackhawks. Maybe I stack the packs differently. So that's what six packs in. Uh, Regula for Chicago on the rookie. Base on the rest. Uh, 
we've got uh, Rookie Portraits of Harley for the Stars and French Variation of Roussel for the Canucks. That's a really saturated Canucks jersey. Really blue. Well, there we go. For the Minnesota Wild, Kirill the Thrill Caprizov. Caprizov. That's uh what he's selling at 350, 400, I think right now. So congrats, Rocky. This is now our best pull. Uh, cousin, sorry, you've got to go. Caprizov will go there. Really good start to this box. I said we were due. I said we were due for one of the big two. So sometimes with Chatfield, eh? Uh, Panarin for the Rangers on the canvas waving high all right we got Kaprizov now we need a big Stutzla right that's how averages work Yellison for the Flames I forgot they had a young gun in here good for the Flames they need rookie cards they need all the help they can get right now Mark, it's cool, I guess. Oh yeah, the Flames are in a... When you spend that much money in an off season and uh, you know, this happens, it's uh, not a good look. We got something clear coming up here. Uh, Patrick Maroon for the Tampa Bay Lightning on the clear cut. So both of our clear cuts have not been major names. Uh, Nick Paul, I think, and Maroon. Ah, uh, Harley for the stars. Next up, LeBanc for the Sharks. We have It'll be interesting to see what happens in Calgary and see what comes of it. I mean, I think, you know, some players are going to eventually, uh, like, they're going to have to move some of their core if they don't do well, right? Vanishek for the Capitals. I mean, you've done the coaching change. Their prospect pool was solid, but it's kind of quieted down a little bit, so... Uh, Coughlin for Vegas on the retro rookie not a parallel yeah we'll be interested to see what they do at trade deadline like every team if they do anything honestly trade deadline is going to be interesting this year see what happens uh lankinen in this as well nice for chicago so really solid box uh lankinen is one of the higher valued young guns right now if he can return to his form from the start of the year, then a uh, really solid box. But not bad. If Chicago sneaks into the playoffs and he does well, like he finds a way to do well, pretty uh, will be a pretty valuable card there. Long term, no idea, but short term, yeah. Uh, Broberg for the Oilers on the portraits. And I still think Hagel's probably going to end up being the best of the Hawks that have young guns in this set. So, uh, Zagadulin on the marquee rookie blue for the Flames. God, I feel like we've pulled the maroon base like five times as well. Next up, rookie portraits of Nijov for the Sharks. And then there's Derek Ryan and Manji Apane. So the same base cards. Like, I, I don't know. I just, I'm noticing the same base cards. So it'll be interesting to go back and look through and see if uh, the one side was all fairly similar on base. And Mason Marchment for the Panthers on the Young Guns. So they got an updated photo of him. That's cool. I think, I don't know if he's getting much playing time. And I forget, but. Came over, I think, from the Leafs for in the Malgan trade. 
Yeah, nice school picture. I mean, hey, like it's it's a weird year. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Canvas of Manta for the Red Wings and Dazzlers of Hishier, Hishier for the Devils. I gotta say, I like the Dazzler set. Like, that's one of the nice sets that they brought in this year, so. Something a little bit different. I don't know. No, Prisky for the Panthers. So, Panthers are. Uh, so, we hit another Prisky with another Lankin in. Uh, so it looks like they kind of run together. Kaprizov sometimes is in that crop. Uh, Chatfield, I don't think, was in there, but another double up. And next up, oh, we got a blue rookie portraits of Di Pietro for the Canucks. Numbered, you can't really see it super well, but it is numbered 8 of 25. So second D Pietro like short print insert, and honestly the blue with the Canucks, good choice. Tough to hit. These are really tough to hit. So, uh, we'll get a third standout. I think we'll put it on like a cool insert side. Yeah, somewhere's in here. I just want to get the light glare off of it, maybe. Come on. There we go. Actually, I should probably stack them in the middle, but this just gives me room for the box. So I can flip it open and uh, not knock stuff over. But yeah. Uh, solid. I'd say solid box. I, I, more than solid. Really good. Um, the Caprizov, the DiPietro, the 25. Uh, another Lankinen. Overall, just good. That had the clear cut base too in it too of maroon, right? So that's better. That's more what we're looking for. All right. So box, f uh, this is box five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Box five. Uh, let's see. We called the caprice off. Let's see. Romanov. Romanov in this box. This is a box that feels like a pack got shifted in it. Uh, no, it didn't get shifted. Just got propped up a little bit, I guess. Six, six, and six. Okay. For those keeping track at home, 36 and 06. All right, here we go. Starting off with another Young Guns. Of, oh no, it's a portrait, sorry. I thought it was a Young Guns, but uh, portraits of McLeod for the Oilers. I don't know why I thought that was a Young Guns. And French variation of Yossi for the Predators. There we go. There's our French variation. I think I just stacked the packs backwards last time. Well, here's our first random uh, between Ottawa and Buffalo. Oh, yeah, they're the regular, and then it's Caprizov and Sorokin for the canvas. Uh, Stutzla and Cousins. So, I mean, we technically got a Stutzla. Uh, who is that between? That is between... Ottawa is Shane and Buffalo is Kenny. And if we do get a second one of these or like an exclusives or a French variation, what we'll do, and like there's two of them total, what we'll do is we'll give both people one. Um, so like you'll get, we'll random. So if say we get the exclusives or clear cut or something of that. Um, and it's uh, like, we get the exclusives or clear cut of it. The winner of the random will get that one. The loser will get the regular uh, checklist type of thing. And if we get two, both people will get one. So Hoffman for the Panthers on the canvas. Fairest way to do it. Uh, Mark DiPietro rookie portraits to 25 would be the biggest thing. So like tough card to hit value wise, not the highest, but tough card to hit. Uh, Brome, Young Guns for the Red Wings, but nothing major. Another Lankinen, um, 
hit the young gun checklist of Stutzla and uh, Cousins. So, Brome for Detroit. But yeah, nothing major. Kind of solid. Rookie materials coming up. Uh, this one's got a soft corner on it. Lucas Carlson for Chicago. Got a very soft corner. Um, honestly, it just looks like the print failed there. I don't even I don't even know if that's card damage or not. To be honest, it just looks like the print kind of ended there. Where's the Byron one? <laughs> I didn't notice it on that one. No, the Byron's not like that. So just a heads up on that. Um, I'll put you put you in the regular stack. You're not a big enough player for that. Yeah, I think first time we've hit like a really low numbered rookie portraits. So, uh, Marchment for the Panthers on the rookie. Another Young Guns. And it is uh, Kivlenikus. Kiv Kiv Kivlenix for the Blue Jackets. I need to brush up on some of these uh, names after the break for sure. That's a new one. So Brome and uh, Kovlinix are new. Haven't pulled them before. Uh, Anthony Angelo for the Penguins on the base. Again, it feels like I'm just seeing the same base cards over and over. Like every box, it feels like they've been the same ones, but could just be like me seeing the same ones in the back or whatever. Hellebuck for the Jets on the award winners. But I'll probably go back and do some uh, studying on it. Ooh, another Young Gun Canvas coming up here. I think at least. Uh, Martin Kaut for the Avalanche on the Young Guns Canvas. That is solid. There we go. So lots of cards top loaded and sleeved so far. Overall pretty solid though. Pretty solid first half. Byron Marquee Rookie for the Avs. That's a nice one. I like it when he gets back to playing full time and isn't injured. I think he'll go up in value, to be honest. Uh, Alexiev for the Capitals on the retro. So, regular retro. Yeah, another Faraby base card. There we go. That pack just ripped weird. Well. Kaprizov in last box, and this time it's Jimmy Stu for the Senators. Nice Tim Stutzler there. Congrats, Shane. He's uh, pushing three, I think. Uh, a little soft on the bottom right corner. If I'm being... F it's a little... It's just got like the little fleck there. Same with the bottom left, so not 100% condition, but still like, I don't know, like... It's not horrible. We'll put Stutzlas over here. And then they can race. And we'll see if we get more than one of each. But hey. One one apiece. And that, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, honestly, pretty solid. Uh, Yo Levy, rookie portraits for the Canucks. Uh, Rocky got Minnesota. Uh, marquee rookie of Coughlin for Vegas. Vegas has done quietly well, just like hitting rookie, like marquee rookies and stuff. <laughs> I will uh, pull up the teams after this box. Parisi for the Wild. I'll pull up the team names after we do this box. Next up, Kurashev for the Chicago Blackhawks 
on the rookie. They've been honestly somewhat quiet for Chicago. Got another retro coming up here. Uh, retro marquee rookie of Yul Levy for the Canucks. Regular back. Uh, Stuart Skinner for the Oilers on the rookie portraits. Yeah. But yeah, good box. I mean, got the Stutzla and the Stutzla checklist in the same box. Uh, Ent Whistle, is that our third Ent Whistle or second? I think that's our second, and we've got this canvas as well for Chicago. Chicago's got, like, what, their seventh young gun? Of the break already just nuts the amount of value you get with chicago is just crazy dazzlers coming up here canvas of zucker for the wild and dazzlers of gibson for the ducks but no young guns parallels yet no um no major clear cut yet. Uh, Regula for Chicago on the young guns. Well, there's another Chicago card. Said they'd show up a lot, and they kind of went quiet, and now they're just like, no, just kidding, we're still here. There we go. Oh, I'm not sure why that... There we go. There's some program randomly pop up on me there. All right, next pack. Oh, um, are we still live? Ah. Uh, Oh. All right. Uh, just getting this for recording purposes. So still live. Just gonna end the stream here. Um, still on the last pack. Apparently I ran out of memory. Oh, we had a memory leak, it looks like. Memory leak, and it ended up crashing. So um, I couldn't see chat or anything like that. Nothing was um, live. So, um, but yeah, all right. I just have video between it. I'll have to edit together the video afterwards. So um, sorry about that. Uh, what was the last thing you saw? I think we're on, um, we're on a clear cut card here. So I have no idea what's coming up. Um, what was the last card you saw? Um, the Regula. Okay, perfect. Cool. All right. Well, we'll go to the back cause I think this is pretty, Ooh, we got our box filler. And it's of George LaRock for the Oilers. I think uh, LaRock actually said to tweet at him if you got it. So uh, who had him? Uh, Philip. All right. So yeah, I'll just make sure I'll splice together the video at the end. Again, like literally I looked at my memory and it, uh, my computer went, uh, Nuts. <laughs> Apparently, Streamlabs decided I don't have 55 point top loaders on me, I don't think. So that'll have to stay in 100 for now. But yeah, uh, nice little rock box filler. Those are cool. All right, 
Let's uh, center these a little bit better here. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, no, that was really weird. Uh, Cause it's like the video feed was fine. Um, just, I couldn't see chat. It looked like the video had stopped recording on my end and that's what I was really worried about. So um, I'm glad everything was back. You could see everything. Uh, dry cycle for the Oilers on the award winners. Um, and then it just, I ended up force quitting a couple programs and it finally uh, said, nope, we're gonna reset. Okay. And obviously these are not the correct teams. Hang on, let me uh, change this. This that's from the past group break. Sorry, I just had a crash here. Um, final, there we go. That's the correct teams now. There we go. There we go. All right, we're back to normal. Sorry about that, that's frustrating. I've never had that happen before, to be honest. So and I'll have to do some tech support later, it looks like. <laughs> See why my computer decided to randomly uh, run out of memory. Or if it was just a program thing. I think it just might've been a uh, Streamlabs, so. But yeah, overall solid box. Um, I mean, we got a short print insert. Those are one per case on the box fillers, so. All right, well, I, I mean, I'm happy you got a nice card. They're super cool, so. And again, it's cool seeing a guy who's like actively in the hobby, in a card and excited about his card in the rock. Ooh, uh, oh, gotta keep the box hit there. There you go, 56. 65. Ooh, the last time we had a box like that with those two kind of back to back was uh, when we pulled that Gretzky. So maybe we got something big coming here. Uh, this looks like the demo again. Nope, it's Romanov. Here he is. Romanov for the Habs. There we go. First one we pulled of him. And that's solid. Bases there, no French variations. All right, we're good. And apologies about that, that was really weird. I don't get why my computer decided now was the best time. At least it didn't like randomly force an update. Uh, Bell's Isle for the Habs on the marquee rookies. I have had that happen before during like a work meeting and it was, uh, it was not fun when you're the one presenting. Uh, award winners, uh, Hedman for the Lightning. So, right. but yeah, uh, honestly, like nice little rock, uh, solid break so far. Lots of really cool rare stuff. So, Corpusello for the Blue Jackets, the brick wall from the postseason. Yeah. Thanks you all for waiting it out and for commenting as soon as I was back in and stuff like that and making sure that we were live. Um, but yeah. Um, Soderstrom for the Yotes on the Marquee Rookie. Yeah, I like the box fillers. They turned out really well. For a box filler set, they look really nice. That is the dad joke of the break. Uh, Mikola Retro for the blues. So you get your one dad joke per break, dang it. Maybe, there might be more than that, but. Uh, Legacy on the young guns for the uh, Oilers. No French variation on the young guns yet. Normally you get two per case, so. Because I think they're one in 120. So something to keep an eye on. We should have a couple. We should have a clear cut young gun and probably an exclusive young gun. Well, here's our clear cut. Let's uh let's save that to the end then. I think that's a clear cut young gun. So let's save it. See what happens. Uh Kivaranta for the stars. I think it's a clear cut young gun, at least it looked like it. 
build a suspense for the box. Next up, Rookie Portraits of Wall for the Maple Leafs. And French Variation of Shabbat for the Senators. Ooh, we got a young gun coming up here. Brandon Crawley for the Rangers. Not the Ranger I was expecting, to be honest. Forgot the Rangers had a couple young guns in this. Yeah. Really, honestly, really solid case so far. Uh, fairly, like we haven't, it'd be nice to duplicate on the big young guns, but uh, we've hit the two big ones. Uh, we've hit Romanov. We've hit, honestly, Hoaglander's probably the last of the big ones that I can think of. Cal Foot on the young gun canvas for the Lightning that we haven't hit. I mean, we've doubled up on Lankinen and um, Ty Smith. Our younger canvases have been a little on the weak side, but nothing like horrible. So, All right, come on, let's get a massive, massive hit here. Uh, Ingram on the portraits for the Predators. Oh yeah, Turkoff we've doubled up on, Ent Whistle, Hagel. Yeah, Keandre Miller's a good player. He's a really good player, so. He'll probably be a decent one long term. Zamula so for the Flyers. I think he's in the $40, $50 range. So. Uh, Grubauer for the Avalanche. There's a Mangiapane base that I've seen so often. It's always in the second half too, it feels like. Second half middle of the box. Stuart Skinner for the uh, Oilers on the marquee rookie. Haven't pulled any base variations yet either. I'll double check after the break as well, but definitely haven't like pull, pulled one. Barham on the retro. Marquee rookie for the Avs. Nice little Byram there. There we go. Stuart Skinner on the Young Guns for the Oilers. Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. I hope the video ended up saving as well too. If not, I will just rip it from Twitch and splice it together, but hopefully they both kind of saved, so. Well, speaking of uh, suit variations, or that, there's a Brady Kachuk, uh, a little bit pixelated on the photo, but Kachuk for the Senators on the suit variation. Skinner. I like. I just like how the uh, the back's different too. I love how after like the coach gets fired in Buffalo, Jeff Skinner goes out and scores a goal. Just great to see. You'll love to see it. Braden Burke, blue rookie for the Yotes. Love those Kachina uniforms. Uh, Kivlenix, Kivlenix for the Blue Jackets. Yeah, so, I mean, we hit a photo variation. Now we need to hit a uh, French variation young gun, right? Uh, Steve Lorenz for the Hurricanes. I think that's the first time we've hit him as well. Uh, so this was Romanov. Romanov is with Skinner, Steven. He's with the S's. Uh, quality control seems better than Series 1. Again, it's... Tough to judge because it looks like series one there are just like a lot of the really like not good cases open at the start. Um, whereas like like towards the end you didn't really see many with the issues of series one. But it seems solid so far. So Neilander for the Leafs. There's obviously still issues. And Morgan Riley for the Leafs on the Dazzlers. There's obviously like the cards are no like you can never expect a product to be perfect. 
Um, any card with kind of dark corners are a little bit more susceptible. The fluorescences have, you know, the typical flaws you'd expect. Um, Pogansky for the blues on the young guns, but overall it seems solid. Um, you know, nothing like major that is really worth calling out. Honestly, probably the worst shaped young gun that we have is the Stutzla. They've all been fairly solid though, so. All right. So that's a halfway point there. Um, I mean, for halfways through a case, I think we, you take it. Hitting the top two young guns, hitting uh, your box filler, your blue rookie portraits out of 25. Uh, our clear cut base have not been good, but hopefully that can change. So, and the rock is a box filler. Honestly, probably one of the. Oh, I forgot. There's we pulled one card to the side in this pack. Well, here's our clear cut knives off for the sharks. I'm just like wait, I forgot a card. Knives off for the sharks. Honestly, seems like a little bit like the. Not as dark as the Series 1 ones there, but on the clear cut. I knew I was forgetting something from that box. There we go. Najaw for the Sharks. Um, Honestly, I think we take the DiPietro top prospects down and put the clear cut up. There we go. All right. Now we're back. Okay, 87 on the box number. Back is 25. Hey, we had a we had a weird box number and it got us a clear cut young gun. But not a, like honestly, you think he's been solid for San Jose? Like not earth shattering, but like just solid and I mean that's okay. But yeah, um uh monkey it's been a pretty pretty solid print quality i'd say like what you'd expect kind of you know like traditional so nothing major nothing horrible uh Peyton Krebs on the rookie portraits man look at his eyes in there for the vegas golden knights next up Uh, Zagadulin for the Flames. Next up, Kachuk for the Flames on the canvas. All right, let's get our French variation young gun. So our, our clear cut wasn't the best, but hey, could be could be worse too, I guess. Uh, Prisky for Florida. Florida's got a lot of cards, like relatively speaking to what your kind of expectations are with them. Uh, award winners of the Tampa Bay Lightning for the Tampa Bay Lightning. One of my personal favorite cards in the set because you know what team that's going to, no matter what. They're always going to Tampa until they like all of a sudden go to a different franchise or something or change their name. Uh, Kelman for the Sharks. The Sharks were kind of quiet in the first half. I will say, for a team with five young guns on the checklist, they were kind of quiet. Is it, uh, I think it's Shellman, not Kelman. I think it's Shellman, but not 100% certain. Rookie materials coming up. Ingram for the Predators. Uh, this one looks okay. A little bit of a soft corner, but not as bad as the uh, the Lucas Carlson one. It's fine. So Ingram for the Predators. Next up, Braden Burke for the Yotes. Um, who we have? This is, I guess, our French variation. 
Kiki for the Hurricanes, and Regula for Chicago on the French Variation Young Guns. It's like, wait, there's two hits and a Young Gun. That's our French Variation. So the French Variations are always with the Rookie Portrait, I guess. We'll get that in the uh, recap pile, I guess. So our Parallel Young Guns, not great so far, but that can change. We're still five boxes left. I mean, we could get an exclusives in this box still, and it could be like Stutzler Kaprizov. Uh, Pogansky for the blues. I need more top loaders. I forgot how many to go through in a case of a uh, series one. Pogansky for the blues. But yeah, what do you think we're going to see in the uh, second half of the, the case here? I, I mean, I think we'll probably see an exclusive. Probably one more French Young Gun. You think we'll see another Caprizov, Stutzla? Let me know. Uh, Samsonov for the Capitals. On the canvas. I really should have shrunk the uh, insert stack, though. I'll probably do that after this box, because it's getting pretty tall. Well, there's your second Stutzla. There you go, Shane. All right, just making sure video's feed's still live, but I think it is. All right, we got two Stutzlas, that one's better. Definitely doesn't have the same soft corners. So we're at two Stutzlas versus one Kirill the Thrill Caprizo. Uh, Peyton Krebs on the blue rookie. So I have one suit variation left. Uh, rookie portraits of Reed Duke for Vegas. But yeah, that one definitely had better corners. Uh, Cal Foot for the um, Lightning. This one is a little bit white on the one side as a heads up. Like nothing horrible. Just when you see it, you'll probably notice it. Especially if you put it against another card or like a, like a dark background. But yeah, like you can kind of see it on the edge of my hand there. Just some white. I think it's just the leftover. Like it didn't get a clean cut, so... But again, you can't expect like every card to be perfect. Like my general rule of thumb is if the card's like an eight, ooh, we got a, either a, ooh, we got a program of excellence canvas coming up. Nick Robertson on the Dazzlers for the Leafs and for the Vancouver Canucks program of excellence canvas of DiPietro. These are really nice this year. A little bit of a different font. That's the third like rare DiPietro hit by the way. Uh, I think that can bump the uh, that can bump the Nijov off because that's kind of like our flex spot right now, and I like the Laroque better than the Nijov. Yeah, DP Etro case, that's for sure. And like out of twenty five, program of excellence canvas, pretty solid. Mitchell for Chicago on the Young Guns. Who had Vancouver? Andy. It's Vancouver. Again, like you're not expecting much with Vancouver, but then again, you know, you never know when some of your better cards will hit. I just need to grab another pack of sleeves here. Because apparently I'm running low on those too. All right, there we go. Next up. Uh, Carey Price photo variation for the Habs on the, well, the, the game day photo variations. Carey Price. Throw that. That's a cool card. One of the better photo variations you could get from the set. I would say. Looking spiffy in his suit. 
Uh, marquee rookie of Ustamenko for Philadelphia. That's a team that's in a world of hurt right now, too. Carter Hart has not performed well this year. A little bit disappointing to see. Uh, Bel Belzile for the Haps. Excuse me, on the retro. Marquee rookie retro. Three packs to go. I think we'll normally hit a spree of young guns here. We've got a lot of young guns, by the way, so far. Uh, Pinho for the Capitals. Hopefully, again, I'm pronouncing his name right. It might be Pinho. Three packs to go. Honestly, you get some really cool cards, some rare cards, like the blue portraits is cool. The Canucks have hit like all of the like kind of special variations, which is kind of funny. Uh Ottinger for the stars on the rookie portraits, because they hit the uh marquee rookie black of you'll levy to 102. So and dry side all award winners for the Oilers. Last pack here. Gonna have anything major in it? Yeah, I like the program of excellence this year. I like the uh, the font and the uh, styling of it a little bit better. Uh, Philip Forsberg for the Predators. He's in trade rumors right now, which is kind of shocking, but hey, that's what happens. All right, let me uh, go ahead and shrink the base again. Oh, it's so much base. And I'm just going to go move the insert pile over to my sorting area. Oh. There we go. And next box. All right, so I think uh, the middle row so far, I think probably outperformed the side row just because two Stutzlas, uh, Romanov, the program of excellence, the box filler. I think it's a little bit better. French young gun, clear cut young gun. The middle is pretty nice to us. Be nice to get better names on some of them, but hey. Let's get a second Caprice off, right? Who haven't we hit young gun wise? I'm trying to think. I don't think we've hit a Sorokin yet. Uh, Keandre Miller as well. Haven't hit him. Uh, 3 and 21, by the way, on the box numbers. Uh, Joseph Wall for the Leafs, Marky Ricky. That is literally the only photo that seems like they have of him for cards. So the only thing that sucks is that they don't have like more photos of certain players. Del Andrea for the Stars and French variation of Krejci for the Bruins. Yeah, Sorokin's the goalie from the Islanders. You definitely haven't hit him. Haven't hit Miller. Um, who else? Ha Hackenpah? Hackenpah for the Ducks on the Young Guns. Haven't hit him yet, so that's a new one. Because, like, we're at the point where we should pretty much have one of everyone or close to. So, I mean, we doubled up on Stutzlaw, which is good. Like, from just a, like, pure value of the case, that's one of the ones that you want to double up on. So... Uh, Marner Canvas for the Leafs. Uh, we've hit, we haven't hit Hoaglander as well. Uh, Romanov we've hit. Cousins we've hit. So Hoaglander is one of the ones still up there. Uh, well there's Sorokin for the Islanders. Definitely a good one to get. Ooh. 
We definitely hit Romanoff though. Uh, that was the the rock box, I think. But Hoaglander, Miller, Sorokin. Well, now we just hit Sorokin. So, ooh, we got another fluorescence here. Who's it gonna be? Uh, Zamula. So our fluorescents have not been great, but uh, on the red fluorescents for the Philadelphia Flyers. And the only thing that I think is really missing from these cards is that the fact the fluorescence isn't like foiled like it normally is. Come on, get in there. There we go. Because like, yeah, like everything else really nice foiling and then the, uh, the fluorescence is just like plain. Zamula for the Flyers. And some of our like other rookies inserts haven't been the best in names. Shit, don't love to see that, but hey. That happens. Uh Mikola, also a new young gun for the blues. There we go. Get the sleeves in. I'll go back through and I like we should hit one of every young gun. I'll try to check that, but um, yeah, we should hit one of every one in a case. Sometimes you might miss out on one or two, but you might get three of one type of thing. So on average, though, you normally hit one and a half of each. Zagadulin for the flames on the portraits. Yeah, our rookie variations could be like our, the players that we hit on the rookie variations could be a little bit better, but. Overall, I'd say solid case. Ooh, this one uh, is uh, a little bit scuffed on the side there. Makar, or on the award winners for the Avalanche. This side is really soft. Like it just didn't fully, didn't get a clean cut on it. But that happens. Another Young Gun Canvas. Our Young Gun Canvases have not been good. Uh, Leonard for the Sharks continues that trend of them not being great don't get me wrong okay player but not who you're looking for look how high that stack is by the way we've hit the we've hit at least a laugh rookie in a retro which is nice uh ottinger on the marquee rookies a Laugh Dazzlers would be pretty sick. I don't think we've hit Stutzla or Kaprizov Okuchi rookies. Uh, Burdeen on the retro for the Jets. I feel like we've hit that one before. Maybe not, though. Uh, Alexiev for the Capitals on the rookie portraits. Quieter box. Be nice to get something nice in here. Delandrea for the stars. Yeah, quiet box. Here. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you don't. Uh, Barkov canvas for the Panthers. Nice to get like a Hoaglander or a Miller in this. I mean, both ideally, but one or the other would be really nice. Uh, McLeod for the Oilers on the Marquee Rookie. Uh, McNiven for the Habs on the Retro. That pack ripped weird. I think we got a Young Guns coming up. Uh, Barabanov for the Leafs. Also a new one. Barabanov for the Leafs. Is Miko Letton in, in this? Can't remember. Or did he already have a rookie card? I'm I'm actually drawing a blank there. Uh, Regulo on the blue for the 
Chicago Blackhawks. The team with half of the cards in the break. Not actually, but it will feel like that. Uh, Victor Soderstrom for the Yotes on the Rookie Portraits. And Lawrence for the Hurricanes. So we've doubled up on him now. Definitely a uh, weaker box here. Like, you know, player names aren't strong. Um, young Guns, I mean, the Sorokin's nice, don't get me wrong, but I think kind of a weaker box. Dazzler's coming up. Hopefully that can save us. Canvas of Fiala for the Wild and Dazzler's of Bergeron for the uh, Bruins. So, no, nothing really. One of these last two packs needs to have something big. Something big. Either a big young gun or, I don't know, uh, DeRosier for the Panthers on the young guns. Well. As it's done the last pack. We haven't hit a single like regular exclusives, by the way. Haven't hit a single exclusives yet. So we hit three clear cuts, so. Maybe we got a Dazzlers come up here. Yep, pink Dazzlers of Yolevi for the Canucks. Rookie pink Dazzlers. Well, that was a uh, an underwhelming box. I will say that. I'm just going to go through the base one more time because, I don't know, it felt like, you know, it just felt like there was, should have been something bigger in that box. But I think that just might be the dud crop, I guess. Yeah, we're not missing anything. I can tell. Nothing there. I mean, and again, not every box. I mean, we hit a fluorescence, we hit Sorokin, but yeah, that definitely was a weaker box. So, oh, there's no day with the cups or anything like that. Crosby's not some sort of variation. No, it just looks like it's a weaker box. Well, they happen. But yeah, uh, so still missing out on some young guns for sure. Miller, Hoaglander are probably the top two. I mean, at least we, we're not waiting on Kaprizov. Come on, get in there. There we go. All right, well, last third, here we go. Uh, let's hope for some Hoaglanders. Let's hope for some Millers. Honestly, where is the checklist? Oh, it's Chrome that actually crashed. Cool. That's why my computer had issues. Uh, it. Let me let me check. Yeah, it looks like they've got a memory leak happening. I don't know where. Um. Hang on. Let me. What's hitting my CPU hard? Uh, Overwolf can go. God, I don't know what's hitting my CPU so hard. Um, Is it better now? But yeah, it looks like it's just something's hitting my memory pretty hard right now. So I'll close off Chrome. Um, that might help. Let me see. Is there anything else that I can close off? Slack I can close off. 
that I can close off. Yeah, it looks like just the um, the broadcasting program that I use is having a not fun time right now. So, um, okay, let's just, I'm going to try and get through the break as quickly as possible at this point, um, just to make sure everything's there and we don't have another stoppage. But um, yeah, sorry about that. It looks like it's just my CPU and my RAM are just getting hit hard by the um, by the program. It looks like something's not right with my computer, so I'll probably have to do some as I knock over the DiPietro. Looks like I'll have to do some troubleshooting later. Um, and apologies, like really wish it could be not like this. Here we can actually slide these back now. All right. I'll definitely try and get them sorted out before tomorrow. So it's a little toasty in my room though. So maybe it's just heating, overheating a little bit or the fans died or something. Cause that's happened to me before. Kivaranta for the stars and heat all on the French variation. Actually on that topic, I'm gonna get a fan and just run it by my computer here. Get some airflow. That might help. Cause that was an issue in the summer. But yeah, uh, we still have the one random to do. Um, all right, one second. running some air back there for some airflow too that might help a little bit uh it looks like my cpu is kind of cooling back down though so that's good oh uh, yeah i'll definitely be looking into this over the next day so if this doesn't happen that's really frustrating sorry guys sorry everyone i just wish it could actually run smoothly all right and if you hear any hum in the background that is just my fan going beneath my feet all right that was base all right back to where we are Uh, another Regula OPG rookie. I feel like we pulled him like four times. Yeah, it is getting really hot in this room. So as long as my baseboard heater didn't go. Uh, there's Sen for the Devils. I don't think we've seen him since one of the early boxes. Or have we seen him at all? Oh, maybe we have. Actually, let me go just bump my heat down quickly, too, in here. Maybe my heater's going nuts. All right. There we go. It's the cards are too hot, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really just unfortunate, because I just want to make sure it's a good experience as possible, and it's just frustrating when it's not, so... Uh, Gensel for the Penguins. That didn't really stay in its top order. There we go. But yeah, let's let's get at least one really nice card in the final uh, th four boxes here. Well, there's our Miller Young Guns. Finally on the board there. So maybe we'll get Hoaglander here. Maybe we'll get Hoaglander. Maybe, just maybe, right? We'll get like a Hulklander high gloss. That would be nuts. Oh, rookie materials duels for Chicago because wouldn't be any other team. Uh, Bodin and Kurashev. Honestly, not as big of a fan of the design of this compared to last year. So, and that's really not... Like, it's a cool hit, don't get me wrong, because it's probably one in every two cases, but like... It's not really even worth putting in the recap pile, to be honest. <laughs> oh no, Chicago is insane in this. Like, they're legitimately nuts. Uh, there's a Puy Suter. That's who we haven't seen for Chicago. I think we haven't seen Leonard as well. But Puy Suter...
Like, Chicago legitimately will end up with a hobby box amount of hits from this break. It is bonkers, and hey, it's it's chaos. I'm all here for it. Ant Whistle for Chicago. Well, there you go. There's three straight Chicago cards. Again, like, they should average about, um, what is it, 24 cards in a case, so about two cards a box. Maybe even more, given that there's multiple cards per pack. Bobby Ryan on the award winners for the Senators, so. Uh, David Perron on the canvas for the Blues. That's in the reverse retro jersey, it looks like. Or did they just, no, those are not reverse retro. They just do the throwbacks. I like them though, they're bold. Uh, Krebs for Vegas. Feels like we're hitting a lot of the same marquee rookies, too. Like, we haven't seen a Kaprizov or a Stutzler. I think Kaprizov and Stutzler are in this for marquee rookies, too. They should be. Uh, Ryan McLeod on the marquee rookie for the Oilers. So, uh, honestly, Stutzler's not the worst rookie to get, either, for Young Guns, so... Might end up being an okay box. Del Andrea for Dallas. Might end up being okay. Hoaglander would kind of help cement it in that good box territory. And we need one after that last box, you know. Not another Regula. Is that our third Regula? I think it's our second base Regula. And um, we've hit the French variation as well. But Chicago, again. <laughs> they're they're all over this break like uh you're legitimately getting a hobby box with them and they have some of the good young guns too so uh mcnivian for the habs some of these cards are starting to stick together a little bit all right well, looks like my computer's back to normal ish all right, uh, Harley for the stars on the rookie. Let me just pull up my task manager here, make sure nothing's off the charts. All right, nothing's going crazy right now. But yeah, that's really weird. So another Young Gun canvas. Let's see if we can break our streak here. Well, Bear ban off for the Leafs. I mean, it's a Leaf Young Gun canvas. But all of our Young Gun canvases have been kind of lackluster. Like, Barabanov might end up being our best Young Gun canvas. It's probably Entwistle, but either way, it's still like... You know, it, there's not a big difference between them, so... Be nice to get one more big one. Uh, Vanacek for the Capitals. Again, it feels like we're running into the same Opichi rookies. Be interesting at the end of the break to go back there and see if we actually just ran into a weird print run or whatnot. But uh, Robertson on the blue for the Leafs. I thought Caprizov and Stusla had Okichi rookies at least. Because we haven't seen either one of them yet. Uh, Di Pietro for the Canucks on the base rookie portrait. All right, next young gun. Let's be a Hoglander here. Uh, Yellison for the Flames, doubling up on him. So, I mean, it looks like they're a little bit more random, but with the cropping, which again, I don't mind. That is fine by me. Got a Dazzler's coming up here. And a canvas of Duncan Keith for Chicago and a Dazzlers of Delandria for the Stars. God, Dallas is going to have a lot of cards too. Like just speaking off of like kind of feel here. Come on, Hoaglander. Will it into existence? Well, it's a Stuart Skinner. It's not quite a Hoaglander, but if he ever, if an Oilers goaltender ever starts playing extremely well and you have their rookie card, they are probably going to shoot up in value. 
I need to get another thing of top loaders after this too, because we are down to two single top loaders left. So that's already like a hundred-ish used. Ooh, we got our red OPG rookie. Here we go. These are one per case-ish. And honestly, not a bad one. McMichael for the Capitals. Not bad. On the OPG red. These again, they're generally about one per case, I would say. So, um, let me get another pack of top loaders. Team viewer up. And face tucked away. So three boxes left. 75% uh, of the way through the break. Honestly, the main major young gun that we're missing, I think, is Hoaglander. with my actual like series one case that i opened up um in what was that i was uh november uh i was missing the of all cards the young guns checklist until the like last box it's just kind of weird but like i i again i will never complain about only hitting one young gun checklist or even like not hitting it in an entire case because it's my least favorite young gun to get so all right uh, that pack just wanted to stay there second there we go 57 86 if you're playing the lotto game all right here we go starting off with the blue of Larmy for the Penguins. A little Larmy for the Penguins. Next up, uh, Jonas Johansson, or Johan yeah, Johansson for the Sabres. Young Guns. Uh, Nizov. Actually, I don't think we pulled his regular. We pulled his, uh, clear cut. So, maybe we'll see Hoaglander here. We pulled his clear cut, but... There we go. Actually, the last Tobby case we did of, uh, Series 1, we pulled Alexander True's clear cut and exclusives, I think, in the same... Or is it either clear cut and exclusives or... And then French variation or something like that? We pull a lot of his stuff, though. Uh, Natchez for the Hurricanes, and Horvat on the Dazzlers for the Canucks. Hmm. No exclusives yet. We still have, I think, probably one French. Right, because we just hit Regula. Generally, you get two per, sometimes three per case. Uh, Sharon Govich, that's the base that we haven't hit. Actually, he's probably our best young gun canvas. Yeah, uh, overall our young gun canvases have been weak, but that's okay. If you hit the base ones, if like if you hit another Caprizov in the final two boxes after we get a full blender, that'd be nice. I would take that. Oh, day with the cup. Here we go. This is a short print insert for the Tampa Bay Lightning of Steven Stamkos. Stamkos, Dave with the cup for the lightning. Mad Dog, that is yours. Um, What are you replacing? Uh, the Program of Excellence. You can go Dave with the cup in the middle. Those are actually really tough to hit. They're like one per every four or five cases. So Nice pull there. Uh, we got these cards stuck together here. Another Miller, there we go, for the Rangers. Well, didn't have any through the first eight boxes and then back-to-back -back boxes start showing up. And just wanna make sure if someone can just make sure that or that the stream's good and everything, um, that it's not super laggy, just let me know and keep me in the loop. Um, just wanna make sure everything's good on that front, so. 
Uh, Broberg for the Oilers on the portraits. All good? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'll try sorting this stuff out for tomorrow at least. Headman for the Lightning. Um, see if my computer just needs a lot of updates or whatnot. It's kind of kind of weird. Uh, Nooch for the Oilers on the canvas. Not gonna lie, it's very frustrating. Uh, Soderstrom for the Yotes on the Okachi rookie. Did we get a French parallel in this box? I think we did. Uh, Reduke for Vegas. Right, we got a French, right? Uh, maybe not. I'm just going to go through the base stack just to make sure I didn't miss one. Flames. Uh, nothing there. It's probably just be easier to flip it over to the back. Actually, that would be easier. Uh, it's actually not really um, easier. The front's still easier. I guess maybe the day with the cup replaces the French variation. Don't think we hit one in this box yet, so. Okay. Maybe we'll hit a Young Guns here. Maybe we'll hit the Caprizov French variation or the whole Glender French variation. I don't know, we need to see a whole Glender card here though. Well, there's a Laugh Rookie Portraits for the Rangers. I think that's the, is that the second one of him or first? Uh, Zamula on the, whatchamacallit, the Marquee Rookie. Can I always forget to check after the portraits, but for base variations. Next up. Uh, Olafsson for the Sabres on the canvas. We haven't pulled a regular exclusives either. Uh, like base or like young guns. And normally you get like, I'd say three per case. So Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. So I feel like we have exclusives due. Um, but maybe the uh, blue rookie portraits counts as one. Ottinger for the Stars. Because it'd be really weird to see a case without a single, like, base exclusives. Uh, send for these uh, doubles. So that's either the second or third one of him. Yeah, weird, weird case. Like... Again, it can change with the last two boxes, but so far it's kind of weird. It feels like we're hitting a lot of the same young guns. <laughs> the devils are just hidden like crazy. Yeah, Kivaranta for the stars. Come on, we need a Hoaglander. Nijov for the uh, sharks on the portraits. And French variation of LeBanc for the sharks. Well, there's our French variation, so it's not a young gun. But yeah, no base exclusives is kind of weird this many boxes in either. Uh, Milos, that's a new young gun for the Sharks. That's a new one. I mean, the one thing, the one good thing I'll say is that if we... If there's one young gun that we miss out on and it ends up being Hoaglander, at least the Canucks hit a lot of like rare Di Pietro stuff. But I really hope we don't. It'd be really nice to make sure we get one of everyone at least. Knocking Canvas for the Penguins. 
couple packs to go. Uh, Ian Mitchell on the Young Guns for Chicago. Yeah, definitely really weird no exclusives. And last pack. Maybe there'll be one in here. Uh, another clear cut. Roussel for the Canucks. Well, hey, you got a French variation. Now you got a clear cut of Roussel. So. I don't know if this is like, if this is common for series two, but because again, I didn't really watch many cases of it, but it's weird that we haven't hit an exclusives yet. I will say that because you normally get three per case, like two to three, but we did hit the DPI to 25 and a day with a cup. So they may override that slot. So, and we've hit four total clear cuts, which technically you get one. Yeah, four is correct, right? Because it's, um, no, four is above average, I think. Because it's one in 288 and then 96, 96. No, three is, three and one is about right. But yeah, definitely weird. Uh, 67 and 42. And I don't know if anyone else has watched stuff and there's, like if you've seen it, just regular exclusives and cases or if this is just a weird coincidence that we haven't had any and we'll have some in our last packs, but we'll find out. Uh, McMichael on the rookie. Next up, uh, Portraits of Larmy for the Penguins and French variation of Kucherov for the Bolts. Still made a whole glander. Um, trying to think who else we haven't hit yet. Sharon Govich again for the Devils. So we've doubled up on him now. Yeah, after this break is done, I'll probably stay online for like a little bit. What time is it 710? Uh, stay online for a little bit and just go through the young guns to see what ones we hit and what ones we or like how many we've hit of each if you want to just stay online for that or not but um totally optional obviously uh larkin for the red wings on the canvas yeah no exclusives is weird well there's hoaglander don't have to worry about that there we go the base pile uh the base pile is in a box it is you know the like monster storage boxes it is like uh i can't i'll show it after the break's done but um yeah it's a it's a big box it's like a five thousand count box or something like that i forget and they're just all kind of funneled in there well, there's your another Chicago Blackhawks in the Baudin. But yeah, nice we got Hoglander. Oh, right, he's in this pile. Why am I putting him in the wrong pile? Nice to finally see him show up. No exclusives. Again, like, want to see nice exclusives. Uh, Jordan Gross for the Arizona Coyotes. That's a new one that we haven't seen yet. So it looks like the crops are somewhat more random, but also somewhat less. But yeah, Devils have had two of every of their young guns. And then an extra Sharon Govich with the canvas. Um, trying to think, we've hit a cow foot. Robertson for the Leafs on the rookie portraits. I'm trying to think who we haven't hit yet. Uh, we've hit a Cole Smith for the Predators. We've hit the Panthers guys twice. Uh, Yossi for the Predators. Maybe we just got like extra young guns or something. I don't know.
Uh, Backstrom for the Capitals. It'll be interesting to do a little bit of a breakdown of this after the break, though. And then I'll have to do the video splicing and stuff. I might upload it in two parts. I might actually have to upload it in two parts. Uh, even for the um, Montreal Canadiens. And it is about the halfway point, which is nice. So, Frank Kuz, retro rookie for Colorado. Honestly, shocked he wasn't in the base OPG set. Because, like, he could have been because he played last year. But. Uh, William Legison. Have we pulled him yet? I feel like we have, but maybe not. Like, I, we definitely haven't hit, like, a Stutzla or Kaprizov marquee rookie, and I feel like they're in this. Like, just, if memory serves me correctly, they have portraits and stuff. But. Uh, Shane Bowers for the apps. On the rookie portraits. But maybe they'll be an extended or something. I'm not sure. Uh, Kratsov on the marquee rookie. That's a new one. It feels like we doubled up a lot on the marquee rookies. Uh, Raquel for the Ducks. Yeah, overall, like, again, it's a it's a weird case. Because, like, we hit some really good cards. We hit two Sutsos. We hit Kaprizov. We hit a day with the cup. Our box filler is good. We hit a decent program of excellence. We hit the DP Etra to 25. Um, Frank Hughes for the apps. Like, we've hit a lot of solid stuff. The McMichael Red's nice. Um, but, like, no exclusives is really weird. Uh, Kratsov Retro. That's really weird. Both Retro Rookies have their regular rookies in this box. Yeah, just some, like, weird stuff happening. Uh, Marquee Rookie Blue of Harley for the Stars. Uh, Hackenpop for the Ducks on the Rookie Portraits. Yeah, I, I've honestly never opened 11 straight boxes from a single case and not hit a single exclusive. Oh, Darren Radish for the Rangers. Definitely haven't hit him yet because you definitely recognize the unfortunate school photo. He had a good OHL career. Yeah, he's definitely an old rookie. <laughs> Dazzler's coming up of Hedman and a canvas of, ooh, retired canvas of Lidstrom for the Red Wings. There we go, something a little fancy. Detroit's been, I think, quiet too, so you got something cool with the Lidstrom retired canvas. Those are about one per case. Yeah. Mark, I know you mentioned you were in a case earlier. Were there any like base exclusives in that? Uh, another nice off for the Sharks. Nice off for the Sharks. If you remember. Ooh, do we? Oh, I think we finally have one. There we go. We do have one. Uh, UD exclusives of a Matteo to 100. So it took 11 boxes, but we got our first one. <laughs> That's just, I, I've never gone that many boxes of Series 1 or Series 2, like consecutive from a single case without hitting one. So, uh, really weird. Because, like, again, normally you get two to three base and then one young gun per case. This is just, like, what it normally seems like the fall rate is. So. 
It's not guaranteed by any means optimized, but that's what it feels like. All right. Last box, uh, we got one random to do here. That random, I might just end up do a, do a coin flip on. Um, yeah, I might end up doing a coin flip on the random, um, just cause uh, I can try, I guess, doing it on random.org. We'll do it three times. But if my computer starts bugging out again, then um, no, stay up. Thank you. But yeah, uh, overall, I mean, like, a uh, solid but weird case. Uh, 18 and 20. I mean, like, we have hit everything that we're supposed to hit, except I think one French young gun left. So, we could have, like, a really sick last box here. Uh, Colasar, that's who we haven't pulled yet for Vegas. So that's definitely someone that we haven't pulled yet. Colasar for Vegas. Uh, Portrait of Kurashev for Chicago. There's your typical Chicago card. I'll probably post a picture of Chicago on Twitter after the break, too. See how nuts they were. Um, just the award winners of McKinnon for the Avalanche. Seemed really weird. Felt like we were, there was like a card missing. No, there wasn't. Just in one slot ahead. Uh, Braden Shen for the Blues. He almost wanted to fall over there. We've hit two faux variations. Beauty uh, canvas and portraits. Retired. Duh, 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 duh. Doesn't really say. Um, so additional base set and set parallels and insert cards. Are one in twelve. Okay, so that buckets things like the uh, Di Pietro portrait in the day with the cup into it. It looks like so. Ah, uh, Shane Bowers for the apps on the rookies. I could have sworn both Stutzla and uh, Kaprizov had like marquee rookies in this, but Bowers on the retro for the Avs. I don't know, just weird. Like, nothing, like, wrong with it being weird. It's just, it's just a weird case. Got some, definitely some rare stuff. Oh, we got our French variation. Uh, Ustamenko for the Flyers, and French variations of Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. So that's the third Stuart Skinner. If Stuart Skinner ever pops off, uh, who had the Oilers? Philip. You, uh, you're going to be happy. We'll put them in the recap pile just because it is the French variation. But yeah, I'm glad we hit both of the big ones. That's really good. Uh, Marchment for the Panthers. Okay, I think the Panthers have doubled up on actually all of their three young guns. Same with the Devils. But, yeah. Um... Solid case. Two Stutzlas is obviously nice. Um, Day with the Cup is nice. The blue portraits, obviously, like you'd rather that be a laugh, but hey, Di Pietro is not horrible. So, Taze on the canvas for Chicago. But yeah, hopefully, we get like one big card in the close here. Be really nice. Whoa! Might as well get two Kaprizovs, too, because, you know, if we're going to double up on Stutzla, we might as well double up on Kaprizov. There you go, Rocky. <laughs> About time. All right. 
so yeah, that went from uh, really like g like good case to insane case with that card right there. Because <laughs> like that's a four hundred dollar young gun. So two stutes laws at three each. Oh, we got a clear cut here too. Jeez, everything's turning up. Uh, Shabbat for the Senators. Second Senators clear cut. We got a lot of the um, the clear cut base instead of uh, like uh, exclusives, I feel like. I feel like we got two extra clear cut base instead of exclusives. Uh, Alexiev Marquee Rookie for the Capitals. Because that brings us to four or five. And they're one in 96 packs, so one in every three boxes. So we should hit, or, yeah, one in every three. So we should hit four. Oh, no, I guess we hit them all. Uh, Lorenz for the Hurricanes on the Rookie Portraits. But yeah. Uh, I mean, two Stutzlas, two Caprizovs, not much more you can really say. Uh, Mikola on the Retro, or not Retro Rookie, the regular Rookie. Streams will probably get his Retro Rookie, knowing how this works. Looks like we got a canvas coming up of Brock Nelson for the Islanders. Who that? Derek Broussard's an Islander in this set, because he signed with Air I thought he was with the Yotes, but you'll levy for the Canucks. So, yeah, uh, we'll do the random, and then I'll stop the recording, and then um, I'll probably just stay online and do, like, just go through the Young Guns and make, like, see what we got, what we didn't get. McKinnon Award winners for the Avalanche. Make sure we hit every single young gun. Um, if you're interested in something like that, you can stay around. If not, um, you don't have to. Braden Burke, there's one that we haven't hit yet. I don't think for the Yotes. So I don't think we hit Braden Burke yet. Again, like this is one of the weird moments for just like, okay, if we miss out on one of the lower end guys, but we hit two Stutzlas and two Caprizovs. Like, on one hand, it's frustrating for the person that missed out on their young gun. On the other hand, for the overall case value, it's great. Korshkov for the Leafs on the rookie portraits. Feels like we're finally getting some variation, though. Feels like we're getting some variation. Uh, Angelo for the Penguins. That's another, another one that we hadn't hit, I don't think. So... We'll probably have everyone hit by now. But one way to find out. And that is by sorting. So. Yeah, no, overall. I mean, like, again, zero complaints about the actual value of the case. Uh, two Caprizov, two Stutzless. I mean, pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, Bergeron canvas for the Bruins. Stay with the cup is nice. Bellows for the Islanders on the Rookie Dazzlers. Uh, the box filler of LaRock's good. We hit a good red rookie, red uh, Okichi rookie. Uh, the Di Pietro out of 25 is nice. So, uh, Milos for the Sharks. Have we hit Leonard in his base young gun? I think we hit his canvas. But Sharks, I think, ended up getting most of their guys. Two packs to go here. And on something nice. Is this another red OPG? Uh, it's another red OPG, and these are normally one per case, so. Uh, Frank Coos on the red r rookie from OPG. And last pack. Again, like these cards are normally, I'd say, two per case, I think. At least that's what they were. Was two per case. Or, sorry, one per case, so. Something a little bit weird, right? Uh, red border parallels are one in, uh, d -d 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 for rookies are one in 150. Okay, so sometimes two per case. And the last pack here, I think this is just going to be a blue OPG rookie. So fairly tame end of Ustamenko for the Flyers. So one random to do. I will do that now. Um, let me get Chrome open. I'm just going to get that done. 
Uh, so it'll be three times between Ottawa and um, what you call it? Uh, three times between Ottawa and the Sabers. Um, ot, ot, buff, buff. All right. Uh, so three times on that, and here we go. Here we go. Whoever's on top gets it once, twice, and thrice. So Ottawa, you get that. And yeah, that is about it for the break. So quick little recap. Uh, two Caprizovs, two Stuzlas, Day with a Cup of Stamkos, DiPietro to 25, LaRock is our box filler. Uh, our Acetate Young Gun, our Clear Cut, sorry, was um, Nigel for the Sharks. Um, D Pietro MVP. Uh, French variations were Skinner and Regula for Chicago. So uh, I'm going to stay online and just kind of make sure we hit every young gun and kind of go through because it's definitely a weird case because we only hit one exclusives in the entire case. But hey, uh, overall fun. Um, yeah, thanks for coming out and see you tomorrow. If you're sticking around, you can feel free to stick around. You don't have to if you don't want to. So, uh, but yeah, take care.